Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Sunday, December 8th, 2024. We are back with our NFL best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Let's recap Friday's results. So, Friday, we had a two and two day. We're overall, though, for the NFL season, six and two, but two and two day on Friday. Members only best bet Packers plus two and a half. Um, if, if their rookie kicker makes a very makeable, like, 38 yard field goal, we cover this with ease, but Took an L, but overall, like as far as like members only goes for football, we're six and one our last seven when it comes to members only best bets for football. You can get all of our members only best bets, dbmbets.com slash picks. Website is linked in the comments below. We have four NFL members only best bets today. One the MLB went five and oh yesterday in, in total. The website is linked in the comments below. Become a member. Don't miss out on all the winning because our members are loving it right now. Um, but free picks do great. We had over 49 in Packers Eagles. That one hit like like 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Jaden Reed, over three and a half catches. You'd love to see how that finished out for him. And then Saquon, we had over two and a half catches, and they just didn't throw him the ball one time. They didn't even target him one time in the second half, uh, which was a little frustrating. We were like basically one missed field goal and one catch away from being 4-0 yesterday and 8-0 on the season. But if you're telling me you're 6-2 and after two days, dude, I'm never going to complain about that. Um, and by the way, last year, it tracks with last year. We, have two, we were 2-18 and 144 last year, 54-24 and on best bets, plus 73.14 for you. Units, um, for last year. We're going to do even better this year. I'm fired up about it. And we have a full slate today. Full slate today in the NFL. Like I said, we already have four members only best bets. You know where to get those. But we have six, six plays I'm going to give you guys here on YouTube today. And if you're new to the channel, though, hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. And guys, hit that like button. I think six and two so far to start the year definitely deserve some love. So guys, hit that like button. Um, but we post NFL videos every single day, along with college football, went 8-1 and one in that yesterday. MLB went 3-0 and oh in that yesterday. Also, the NBA and NHL, when those are back on. Uh, we're going after our first 15,000 subscribers, so I'm excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So let's jump in the plays that we have today. I'm going to get started with our first play, which is going to be the Seahawks, minus 5.5 versus the Broncos. The Shark Money is all over Seattle here today, and it's Seattle at home, one of the toughest places on planet Earth to play against a rookie quarterback in a new system that he is not used to. No, granted, with Bo Nix, he had he's had like he, he played like eight years in college, so he has all the starts in the world. But he's at he again, he's still a rookie, he's still at home, he's still going on the road. And there's a reason, by the way, he was a five-year player and didn't come out after three years because he wasn't that good. And also when he was playing at Oregon, it was nothing but bubble screens, quick passes. When he had to throw the ball past 10 yards, he was not a good quarterback. And you're gonna need that against the Seahawks team because the Seahawks have weapons all over the field with DK, Lockett, JSN, Walker, Charbonnet. I mean, they've got no offense, they've got some fucking players right now. And the Broncos defense is overrated by people on TV. Everyone keeps telling me about, oh, this Broncos defense. No, they're so talented. They're so you cannot listen, you cannot intellectually have being intellectually honest or you're a complete moron telling me that this Broncos defense is like the second coming of the steel curtain other than Pat Sertan who's really good you can't tell me that plus the Broncos played great in the preseason and typically people who play well in the preseason don't do that great in the regular season or not really not do well but like when you're like overhyped in the preseason which is what this Broncos team was I like McDonald's the coach for the, for the Seahawks as well he's familiar with that town he should sure up the defense and honestly I think Gina's gonna have a really good game today again with all the weapons against the defense that i believe is a little overrated plus the sharp money is all over seattle today i love seattle minus five and a half versus the broncos next we're going with the panthers plus four and a half versus the saints this game stinks this game stinks to high heaven i hate this play so so much but i have to bet it just like iowa state by the way they won outright yesterday um just like iowa state yesterday the panthers feel like a team that's actually trending up a little bit i know the people on tv are giving them shit and they suck and listen i'm not saying they're gonna be good whatsoever but four and a half points against this saints team who cannot move the ball is absolutely insane first off the Saints defense, the Saints just in general are a team that's just trending down. They just feel like a stale team. It's like when you go in your pantry and you and you reach to the back and you grab a thing of Hawaiian rolls that's been there since freaking June and September. And it's just a stale team that you're like, but the Hawaiian rolls are good, but they're stale as fuck and they kind of suck. Like, that's what it comes down to with this Saints team. And when you look at them, DeMario Douglas is getting older. Cam, uh, Cam Jordan's getting older. So, I mean, you're, you're, you're talking about... 
your best players are getting older. You don't really know how good they're going to keep being. And the Panthers feel like a team that is trending up, like they're getting better. The Dave, Hiring Dave Campbell is a big deal for Bryce Young. He's going to play a lot better this year just with an offensive coach that knows what the hell they're doing and wants him. Because I don't think Frank Reich wanted him. I think Frank Reich wanted C.J. Stroud. He was right, by the way. But even so, I think Bryce Young's play a lot better. And Derek, Derek Carr has not shown whatsoever that he can move this offense at all. And their weapons got worse from last year. Alan Kamara's a year older. Chris Olave took a step back. I they give away they give away plays when they put Taysom Hill in the game. Not saying he couldn't get first downs, but you know what they're doing. You know they're running the ball or they're gonna do like a pop pass basically. So as long as you're back four, just stay home and you just blitz your front seven. You should be able to you should be able to end those Taysom Hill plays like that. And Bryce Young, like I said, is still the number one pick. And he looked now I know I just said I know what I said about preseason a minute ago, but he looked good against the again he looked good against starters in the preseason, which is a big deal. They have a they have a seeming off a common offense coach like I mentioned and they got better defensively over the offseason their O-line was better and the sharp money guys I, I is all over the Panthers here today I can't go against it plus four and a half with all those factors and again if you're going to tell me Derek Carr that's answering to cover a number and I, and I and I go against that and I lose I'm cool with that but I don't see them doing this I think this is a field goal game and plus four and a half is still a football number give me Panthers plus four and a half versus the Saints here today Next with Colts, plus three versus the Texans. The Sharps are on the Colts today, and they're catching points at home in a divisional matchup. Divisional matchups are obviously always closer than people think, and, and crazy stuff happens during divisional matchups, like I said with Carolina and, and New Orleans. But the Texans have a have, will have a great season, in my opinion, but I don't think it's a good first game. The Colts played them very, very well. Shane Steichen put in, I mean, just an uh, unbelievable game plan uh, to go against the Colts, uh, to go against the Texans, excuse me, the last two times they played, and they all and, and they almost beat them with Gardner Minshew. And if there wasn't, you know, like I mean, in that last game, I mean, there's there's an argument to be made the Colts probably should have won. But even so, the fact is, is that I'm not sold on the Texans defense. I'm just not. I understand. I understand D'Amico Ryan is the coach, good defensive coach, but I don't I don't trust their defense. I think Anthony Richardson's gonna be played better than Gardner Minshew did last year, and Gardner Minshew actually played pretty well. I think Anthony Richardson's gonna have a good year this year. And I'm not sold, like I said, on the Texans defense. There could be some growing pains, all these weapons. Who knows if Stephon Diggs is going to throw one of his patented fits uh, to C.J. Stroud a quarter and a half in this game after he gets one target. And I, also the Colts O-line is really solid. Their defense is pretty good. I think the Colts win this game outright. I'm going to take the points. I'm going to take the points. But if you want a little plus money, a little juice it up um, gambling play, go with the money line. Uh, but I'm going Colts plus three versus the Texans here today. Next, going to the Titans, plus four and a half versus the Bears. I think this Titan team is going to be very, very scrappy this year. I think they're very, very similar to the Panthers, where I think they're going to have, you know what, oh, no, not some of the Panthers. I think the Titans are actually going to be pretty good. I think they can get eight, nine wins out of this team. Maybe even 10 of some things break their way, because here's the reasons why. Number one, Will Levis is a year better, and he's going to play, he's going to be, take two or three steps forward this year, without question, in my opinion. And the reason being is not just because of his experience, not because of that, but because of how much better this Titans team has got. Now you can tell me, oh, well, Calvin really didn't play well last year. I think he actually played okay. He's had some trouble with drops. He'll be fine. They got Tony Pollard, who he's not going to, the thing about Tony Pollard is he's not going to be your bell cow. And the th and I don't expect them to, I don't expect them to try to make him the bell cow. But Ty J Spears backs him up. And Ty J Spears is really good in my, I mean, he is really good. He was great at Tulane and last year was a bit electric. And they got Tyler Boyd for their third third wide receiver, which means they have D-Hop, Calvin Ridley, and Tyler Boyd all across the front with for their wide receivers, and their O-line got a little bit better. And you're going to tell me Will Love is going to be worse now that he's got actual weapons in almost every single position. I think the Titans got a hell of a lot better. And the Bears are obviously much improved as well. I mean, they got Keenan Allen, um, you know, Roma Dunze, obviously hiring, hiring, obviously drafting Caleb Williams. I mean, there's, there's some, obviously, they, they improved a ton, and their defense was pretty good last year. My question is, is are we sold on um, Iberflus? Are we sold on that he has got them prepped? Um, we had hard knocks following them around. And the energy in the building is going to be very, very hype. But let's say the Titans get up 10 nothing. That building, the Soldier Field, is going to get tight as all hell. And I get four and a half points with the Titans. Now, I think the Bears do win this game. However, I think just like Panthers Saints, this is a field goal game one way or the other. Give me the Titans plus four and a half versus the Bears. Um, the Sharks are on the Titans here today. And again, I get, I'm get i catching four and a half points against a Bears team, which I think is going to be good, but four and a half is a lot of points in the NFL. So give me Titans plus four and a half. Next one, the Falcons minus three and a half versus Steelers. This is a field bet here. Sharks are on the Steelers. I don't care. 
I don't trust Steelers at all. I understand Mike Tomlin covers these numbers. He does, he will not today. They're going to get absolutely smoked when they come to Atlanta. Because here's the deal. Let's say Kirk goes out there and isn't himself. They can put Michael Penix in. And they're going to have a quick leash with Kirk. I, I know that for a fact. Because you don't draft a guy number eight with, with, a, with a, a long leash for your old veteran quarterback. But I think Kirk's going to play very, very well. Because Kirk's surrounded with weapons now. And you saw what he can do with weapons. When you have Kyle Pitts, who's great. Um, Drake London. Bijan Robinson. I think Tyler Argier is actually pretty good as well. Um, they've got they've gotten players, and they should be able to test this defense. The Steelers' offense is a complete train wreck as well. You can tell me like, oh well, like listen, George Pickens is your best player offensively. You're fucked because here's the deal. You look at Na Najee Harrison, your starting running back. The dude runs like he's got jeans and black Air Force Ones on. The dude has no speed whatsoever. Jalen Warren will take a step back because people aren't going to be completely surprised by him this year. They don't have any other receivers not named George Pickens. Um, Fryer is pretty good. Like he's fine. He's a decent tight end, but. Whether it's Russell Wilson, who is a, like basically a midget back there and can only throw a nice deep ball and is literally a, is literally has happy feet in the pocket, or you have Justin Fields who has no footwork whatsoever. He can run a little bit, but I mean, if you if you put him in, I mean, the first thing you're thinking about is okay, he's going to run. That's that's if you're deep defensively, that's all you got to focus on because he can't make the big throws. We've seen it over and over and over again when he was with the Bears. And if you look at the pre again, I hate saying the preseason, but like when you look at the preseason, the Duke couldn't move the ball against third stringers, and that's just embarrassing in my opinion. Now, Falcons are also at home. They get three and a half, and they gave, they gave the three and a half specifically so you would bet the Steelers. That's the whole reason they did this. The, Vegas is trying to trick the public into betting the Steelers, and I am not going to fall into the trap of betting a team that has very little talent, and the Falcons have all the talent in the world. I think their defense is going to be improved as well, getting Raheem Morris. Give me the Falcons, minus three and a half versus the Steelers here today. And then we're going to go with the Chargers, minus two and a half versus the Raiders. I love the Chargers today for Har Harbaugh and Herbert. That's that's why I like them. Um, there's no one better culture-wise in the NFL than Jim Harbaugh is. There just isn't. And the Chargers have a great O-line now drafting Joe Alt. I mean, when you have Joe Alt or Sean Slater in that, that the, the interior of that line, they're going to be really, really good. They're going to be running power over and over and over again with Gus Edwards and all these dudes. And the wide receivers are going to be better than people think. Lab McConkie's a beast. Like, he's really good. He was great at Georgia. I think Quentin Johnson takes a major step forward because you can't tell me he was that good at TCU and just can't catch the NFL. I don't understand that. And Jordan Palmer wasn't that bad last year. Now, listen, the wide receivers are not – you're not going to – these aren't Minnesota wide receivers. These aren't, like, you know, I mean, even Atlanta's wide receivers. But I think they're going to be good enough to play against a good Raiders team. The vibes around the Raiders, though, are fucking horrible. I mean, I think Gardner Minshew's going to be playing on edge because Antonio Pierce literally just – literally just named a starter because – and, and O'Connell threw a pick six in the preseason, which is just insane. That's the whole reason why he did it. And I think I think Gardner's going to be a little bit on edge. I don't think they're going to let him be Gardner. I don't love the running backs. I mean, Devontae Adams is fine. They got two tight ends that are pretty good with um, with Mayer and I'm um, forgetting the other one. And, um, and Brock Bowers, of course. But, I mean, I think that Jim Harbaugh is going to have big boys ready to go. Herbert's going to be back for this game. And again, the Chargers are kind of at home because, you know, it's the, they're never really at home because the Chargers don't really have a home stadium with SoFi. Uh, but I like the Chargers here minus two and a half. I'm not catching it. I'm not, I mean, I'm not having to lay a full field goal. And I think they win this game by a field goal, maybe maybe seven points. The Raiders just blow. Give me the Chargers minus two and a half versus the Raiders here today. Now, like I said, guys, we do have more. We have five more members only best bets. You can get all those at zdmbets.com slash picks. Website is linked in the comments below. Um, and as a member, by the way, get all our members only plays every single day. So it's profitable best bets on a day to day basis. On top of that, you have a direct line to me. So any game you're considering betting, reach out to our hotline number, get a guaranteed response back about any game you're considering betting. And you get our free picks due on YouTube, sent to you before these videos come out. That would take advantage of really lines or the odds. Hit the website zdmbets.com slash picks, zdmbets.com slash picks, zdmbets.com slash picks. So guys, let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow.